Omaha Public Schools wants to help students with disabilities. Their focus is the future and making sure the kids have the skills they need for the real world. The program is looking to the community to get the students the training they need. Upfront at 4 reporter Lindsay Thies has more on OPS's transition program. Well, not only is the OPS transition program doing great things for students 18 to 21, they now need the community's help. Take a look. For Courtney Smoot, life has been intimidating. And I was just wasn't used to meeting new people, and then my teachers trying to encourage me to make more friends. This time of year, most high school students are looking to the future, but because of their special needs, students like Courtney might have a future that looks a little different than a typical high school student. I'm 19 years old, and this is my second year being in the transition program. Thanks to the transition program. Students like Courtney get to navigate the real world. Do not exceed how many? Eight doses. Today they're learning how to read medicine labels. Another big part of the program, work experience. They're going to learn like the living skills, um, functional work skills, um, and their academics are functional as well. This spring, students in the transition program are hoping to go to a special conference in Ohio. They work with employers all around the United States to provide them with state-of-the-art strategies to work better with adults with disabilities. But they need help. Organizers say it costs about $1,000 for each kid to make the trip, something that most of the students in the program, which rely on free or reduced lunch, can't afford. They're asking the community for help. The benefits of the program? Slowly she came out. Courtney's grandmother, Adrian. She became more outgoing. She thought more for herself. I, I can handle a lot of things on my own. So there are tons of ways that you can come in and donate, whether you want to just throw in some cash or sponsor a particular individual. We have all that information with this story online. That's at KMTV.com. For now, we're at 76th and Maple today. I'm Lindsay Thies for Upfront at 4.